What's up YouTube? This is LizardJ21 here, and today I'm going to show you how to fix audio problems in Final Cut Pro 10. So this will be the fifth tutorial in the Final Cut Pro 10 playlist, and today I'm going to show you how to analyze and fix audio problems right within Final Cut Pro 10. So if you're used to Final Cut Pro 7, you know that Final Cut Pro 7 came with a bunch of filters to help you fix audio. But in order to really fix audio well, you'd have to send that project to Soundtrack Pro. And unless you're some idiot, I'm sure you installed Soundtrack Pro along with Final Cut Pro since it all came on that one disc. But with Final Cut Pro 10, there are some audio features that are included directly within the software to help you fix soundtrack to help you fix audio. So I've got a uh, I've got two clips here in my timeline, and both have some audio problems. Both of them have some background noise that needs to be fixed. So, first of all, in order to have Final Cut Pro tell you that it needs to be fixed, what you got to do is right-click on your clip in the browser, choose Analyze and Fix, and check off Analyze and Fix Audio Problems. Press OK, and you will see Final Cut Pro will go to work fixing those problems. So there we go. Now that Final Cut Pro 10 is done analyzing our clip, if we go ahead and open up the inspector, if you haven't already done so by clicking, clicking the I, open up the audio tab, and you will see under audio enhancements, audio analysis has a caution symbol, and it says potential problems detected. Go ahead and click that arrow, and you will see just what is the problem. So in this example, I've got some background noises that need to be removed. You will see that is indicating that because of the caution symbol. Nothing to do with loudness or hum removal, but just background noise. So in order to apply the filter, you just go ahead and click the box, and now the filter is applied. Now it automatically defaults to default for 50%, but you'll see, let's go ahead and play this. Come with me now that's not bad so if we take that off you'll see the difference come with me so you can see that there's a lot of sort of wind or um, noise anything in the background so this did a pretty good job now that's for an outdoor example but how about an indoor example here I've got the same issue I've got some background noise that needs to be removed and let's listen to the original for a bit surprise no oh. Mom always told me there'd be days like these. So you could barely hit, hear it, but this is in a TV studio, and so there is some noise from a fan and whatnot. So we're going to go ahead and apply the filter, and it automatically defaults to 50%. But in this example, listen to what happens. Surprise? No. Oh. Mom always told me there'd be days like You can see the audio sounds almost like digitized and pixelated. So we're going to have to bring that amount down. So that's very easy to do. So while we're doing that, we're going to play the clip and Surprise? listen to the differences. Oh. Mom always told me there'd be days like these, where dad would make some stupid family decision that would mess up all of our lives, but I'm just... That sounds pretty good. So we got rid of most of the noise, and we don't get that pixelation. Now, there are other things that you could do with these audio enhancements. Now, the first one that you can do is loudness. What this does is, well, what it says is makes your clip louder. You could adjust the volume of the click by bringing up the decibel level here, but you could also do it in here. So if we go ahead and apply this filter and play the clip... Surprise? Oh, mom always told me there'd be days like these, where dad would make some stupid family decision that... See, you can make it louder, but that kind of distorts it, and you will see over here, your, v me your VU meters are already peaking, so that's not necessarily a good thing, so I'm going to take that filter off. The other thing that you can do is remove any sort of hum, so say you've got, like, similar to background noise, you've got, like, a little buzzing sound in the background from, say, your ports, like, you've got an XLR cable that's improperly plugged in and you're getting some sort of buzzing, well, the hum removal kind of fixes that. So if we go ahead and apply that filter, it's already default set to 50 hertz. So let's play that clip and see if it makes a difference, but I doubt it will because we don't have that issue in this clip. Surprised? No. Oh. Mom always told me there'd be days like these, where Dad would make some stupid family decision that... And you see, that made no difference whether at 50 hertz or 60 hertz because, well, my clip doesn't have it. But if you did have some sort of buzzing from improperly placed cables or anything of that matter, that filter is for you. Now, there is one more thing that you could do with all these filters, and that is called Auto Enhance. This, what this does is, like it says, automatically enhances these features to the clip. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and press the button here. And you'll see that I actually took away the hum removal because it thought that I didn't need it. And it put the background noise removal to a 30% amount. And that's where I had it before. So anyway, guys, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to favorite, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.